Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and I'm here to share with you another simple, easy recipe. Today I'm gonna to be making these cheesy bacon stuffed mini peppers. If you ever had stuffed jalapenos, these are kind of the same thing. They are super easy for your next party or afternoon snack or appetizer. So first, let's get into the ingredients. They are quite simple. So I found this bag of mini peppers at Walmart. These are the sweet to the point, mini pointed peppers, and they come in a variety of colors. I'm also gonna be using some mild shredded cheddar cheese, some bacon bits, you can use real bacon, but I just use the bacon pieces so I don't have to chop them, and some cream cheese. I ended up needing about a package and a half of cream cheese. So these are the peppers, and you can see that they are about jalapeno sized, but I didn't want to buy a bunch of jalapenos. I just ended up buying this bag, so I thought it was quite easy. After I rinse them, I'm going to start cutting them in half. So I'm just going to take a sharp knife and cut them in half. And then I'm going to go ahead and scoop out all of the seeds and the insides into this Walmart bag. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the stem as well. I think these peppers are super easy to clean out. I just used a spoon in a Walmart bag and they were pretty easy to cut as well. Um, I don't think they are bell peppers, but they do remind me of bell peppers and they are a little bit sweeter than a bell pepper. I think these are great to eat raw as well. If you're just making an afternoon snack, you can just stuff these with cream cheese and a little bit of bacon bits and they are perfectly fine. I don't think they have a bitter taste at all. I like to bake them just to make them a little bit softer and to melt the cheese we are going to put on top but you can definitely serve these cold. After I have halved and cleaned these out, I'm going to rinse them in the sink one more time just to make sure I have all the seeds and insides completely out. So after I have rinsed these off, I'm ready to make our cream cheese stuffing. I needed a block and a half of cream cheese. This one singular block was not enough, but it is super easy just to make a little bit more if you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and open my package of cream cheese and add that to the bowl. Then I'm going to sprinkle in some cheddar cheese. I'm not really using measurements, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And then I'm gonna add my bacon bits. Now, if your cream cheese is not softened, it may take a little bit of elbow grease, but it does soften right up um, to go ahead and stir this together. And then once the mixture is combined, I'm going to add a little bit of freeze dried chives. Um, you can use the real thing, but this is what I had on hand. And then I'm going to season it just a little bit with some black pepper. And I have this Cajun seasoning. It's not necessary, but I did have it on hand and I just wanted to go ahead and incorporate it. So now it is time to stuff our peppers. I'm just going to take a spoon and go ahead and stuff each pepper individually and then place them on a parchment lined baking sheet. You can make these a day of, but you also can make them a day of head. And like I said, you can go ahead and eat these cold. I think that these peppers taste perfectly fine raw. I actually found this recipe on Pinterest and I just thought it was a nice take on uh, the jalapeno stuffed peppers. Um, I really didn't want to buy individual jalapenos and finding this bag at Walmart was just what I needed. Um, and I thought this was more than enough for the guests that I was having over. So you can make this for a party, a potluck, a game day if you're watching football, or if you just want an afternoon snack for you or your kids. I think that these are great um, just to kind of have on hand and they do store really well. So 
So I'm just lining these up on a parchment lined baking sheet and I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to top them with a little bit more of shredded cheese and then these are going to go in the oven for about 15 or so minutes um, the peppers cook up quite quickly so I'm just trying to let the cream cheese warm up a bit and then let the cheddar cheese on top melt after 15 minutes these are what they look like and oh my gosh they were so delicious and so good I mean cream cheese and bacon bits and more cheese like the pepper is really just a means of getting cream cheese into your mouth, but it was just so good and so easy. Um, they're really nice little snacks to have. Um, and then, like I said, they do store very well, so you can eat them the next day. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. It will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.